Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It is a bright sunny day here. We won't make you look too much of the sun, but anyways, it's a bright sunny day. We have a look at the greenhouse from more of an aerial view at the top of my yard. And you can see the three vents are open. The first vent is in the warm side of the greenhouse, facing south. And the last two vents are on the um, cooler side of the greenhouse. And that way is north, and the air conditioner is on the north side. And today I just wanted to show you how my air conditioner and my misting system work on a really hot day to keep everything as it should be. Now I've actually upped the um, humidity in the greenhouse. Usually I keep it at about 88% as a set point. Today I've upped it to 95% just to sort of show you how it works. And so yeah, why don't we head down there and take a look together. So as we head down, you'll notice there's a very little shade cloth on it at this point. Um, I do have to shade it on the brightest, sunniest, hottest days of the year, but anything um, 25 to 26, 27, 28, even up to 30 Celsius is pretty good. I can control it without shade cloth. The reason I don't want shade cloth on there is because I want it as bright as possible in there. But normally when you have it as bright as possible, you get burnt things. So let's go down the stairs here. Now another note, here in British Columbia, it's very dry when it's hot. If I was to open the door, the humidity would plummet. Right now we're looking at about 35 to 40% humidity out here and 85 to 95% in there. So there are some vents down here and these vents are very handy. They're also closed right now, but when I want to get some um, convection going to have the hot air rising out quicker from the greenhouse. This is my next step before shade cloth. I can open these vents and it creates a nice um, upwards draft. The, um, the cool air that's down here and there's another one around the north side. All the cool air down to the bottom gets pulled in onto the cool side and then goes up and leaves on the hot side. So why don't we go in. Everything is in full, full swing in here. There's all the fans are on, everything is going like it's supposed to be going. So let's have a look around. I'm just going to have to talk really loud so that we can see what's going on in here. Now, the misting system is currently on. The fogger is on. And I actually hooked up um, an old fashioned um, um, fogging disc thing over there as well for in the, in the warm side of the greenhouse. But let's just um, see how things are going in here. First thing we'll notice is the air conditioner is on. So hopefully it's not too loud in here because it's pretty loud. Air conditioner is on. This is what controls the air conditioner. There's the actual temperature. So as the air conditioner is on, we'll see that go down because it only turns on, it turns on at two degrees above this. So it turns on at 29 and turns off at 27. Humidity currently is 88% in here set to 95 percent and the misting just kicked off but the foggers are still on so the misting is on a cycle timer and i can adjust the amount of time the misting is on it doesn't always have to be on and if it's not a really really hot sunny day then the misting system doesn't have to be on i can just do it with the foggers but that is the air conditioner running if we look close we can see the air coming out of the air conditioner is 17.9 degrees and it is nicely cooling it down in here. Um, without the air conditioning running, it would be really, really hot. So I'm loving the air conditioning going. Now the air conditioner does put out a bit of dry air, but that's like nothing that these things can't handle at all. For every hour the air conditioner runs, it removes like a cup and a half of water maybe from the air. And for every minute these things go, they basically put back a cup and a half of water. So. When it's not really hot, the air conditioner, yes, does trigger the humidity and it goes on for like one minute, but then it goes off again for like 10 minutes until the air conditioner brings it back down a, a few points on the relative humidity scale. But yeah, so the great thing about this is it is completely sealed in here. It is very, very, very humid and I can feel the cold air coming out, so it's, it's working properly. Eventually, as we talk, I'm sure the air conditioner is actually going to turn off because it's, it's getting cooler in here. Once the air conditioner turns off, the humidity will then soon catch up, even though I have it set for 88% or for 95%, right? So normally we'd only be one percentage away. As I said, I upped it for this video to keep it running on purpose, but normally we'd almost be at my um, set point anyway. So on a hot day, 
88% humidity with the air conditioner running. Not bad, not bad at all. And we'll talk about the misting system a little bit more in a second. It's on the cycle timer back there. It'll likely come back on in a few minutes for about a minute. And I'll explain why that is in just a second. So the argument is always which is better, the air conditioner with the fogger running or a swamp cooler. Well, a swamp cooler works great in our dry environment outside, but I would have to be blowing air in all the time, which means I'd be losing a lot of my humidity because there's no way the swamp cooler is going to bring it in as humid as I need it to be. And even if it did bring it in as humid as I need it to be on a, a colder day when I want the humidity running, um, I don't necessarily want to be sucking in cold air from outside. So these misting systems need to be in place anyways. Um, again, same with the louver vents down below that I first showed you. They're just going to bring in the, the dry air from outside and make the, the humidity um, drop that much more. So for me, the air conditioner is working just fine, even on the hottest days. Let's look, we've gone up another couple points of humidity. 27.8, I can't remember what we started at, but we'll eventually get caught up. And keep in mind, this is with no shade cloth on. So, pretty soon I would imagine this misting system will come back on. Now I can easily just flip it off on the cool days so that it doesn't run at all. And I can actually make it on the really hot days mist on for a lot longer. So, like I say right now, it comes on for like a minute out of every five or six minutes. So, the misting system above our head is designed so that it doesn't get anything wet. The plants are still pretty much dry other than the odd little one. It's designed to fall sort of and evaporate before it hits the floor, which again just increases the humidity that much more in here. We'll walk over here and you can see this one here. This is just my do-it-yourself fogger. There's one of these um, discs a nine disc fogger inside the Rubbermaid tote with a piece of um, dryer venting and a fan on the backside that blows in and pushes out the um, fogging air and that it runs at the same time as the actual fogger so it just gives it a little bit more humidity on this side because there is a partition between it and it does get a little bit drier on the um, the north side or sorry the south side there but anyways what I'm waiting for is just the misting system to come back on again and yeah there it is i'm going to turn it on for a little bit longer there we go i just reached around so now the misting system is on ignore the can that's just to weight the plant down so that it doesn't hit the roof as easy and yeah so you can see the misting system now this is a secondary sort of cooling system i would say again not necessarily on, not necessary on anything but the hot days and yeah, it's working just great. We'll swing back around here again. So we've gone down a little bit in temperature again. And we're at 91% humidity in here. It's um, pretty crazy. So normally this wouldn't even be running at this humidity. It would have stopped 3% ago. But for the sake of the video, we're going to keep it running. You see the log there getting misted on just ever so slightly. It takes a long time for the mist to actually make anything wet. It's really just um, to humidify the air. But yeah, so for me, I, I don't want a swamp cooler, especially as my sole source of humidity and air conditioning because I don't use them at the same time or in the same way. And I don't believe that a swamp cooler running at this point would have it 92% humidity in here even though it's a very hot day because it would be just drawing in air from outside and yes it would it would increase the humidity a lot as it pulled it through but it's only doing one pass so if it's 35 percent outside even if it doubles it to 70 percent that means i'm only going to have a maximum of 70 percent humidity in here because it's not going to be blowing air that's 100 percent humidity through the the pads it's going to increase it if i was to sit a, a swamp cooler in here again it works the, it works better in dry conditions so the um, swamp cooler, the, the closer it got to my high humidity, the less it would work. The, the more it would just kind of run in vain. And yeah, there's the misting off again. So I did trigger the switch to run um, for a couple extra minutes this time, just to give us some time with it running before the video ends. I'll probably stop the video at the 10 minute mark or so. And yeah. 
can see it's now down to 27.3 and the air conditioner is working pretty hard today because it is really hot outside but it will eventually catch up and then it will turn off and then the temperature will rise up again by about two degrees and then it'll turn back on so on a day that's not so bright and sunny and hot the thing doesn't run for for that long it it just keeps it at a nice exact temperature and it works great for me but yes you can see how bright it is in here even this is on the the two foot shelf and even down on the ground there where the Miltoniopsis is and the Nepenthes look at how bright that is on the ground and there we go the misting system I adjusted it so it's back on again already normally it wouldn't be but since we're trying to push the the limits of the humidity in here 95% on a really hot day is um, really hard to achieve but we are going to get there we're at 94% I just upped it um, just before I started the video so it was sitting nicely at 88% so it's taken a few minutes to get higher but that's because the air conditioning is running and because it's so hot outside normally I could take it up 8% in here in about one minute when we're not um, running at sort of high capacity and guess what the misting system is now off we're at 95% the fogger is kicked off again normally we wouldn't be this humid in here it's normally set for 88 but that's off now that one's off now and of course the mist itself is off now because the, it's set on the same circuit as the the fogger but yeah so we're always losing um warm humid air out the vents so i'm always having a there goes the air conditioner off too so we did it we have now cooled the greenhouse down to 80 or 27.0 fahrenheit or celsius and it is running exactly as it should be all of the um cooling and, and fogging humidity systems have have kicked off even though it's bright and sunny out yes they're going to kick on again soon but look at how bright and sunny it is here in the meantime all the plants are loving it because their leaves are cool they're not overheating it's bright but um, the temperature is totally controlled and that's what we're looking for so the next stage after this though is going to be put the shade cloth on to actually shade the sun from coming in here on those days when my air conditioner and my fogger just can't keep up that is the next step but yeah look at even a few plants still way up in the top they would be cooking up there if it wasn't for um, being able to maintain the temperature it would be so hot in here I would be having to open the door I'd be having to open those vents down there all the dry air would be coming in through the door and the vents but right now we have the vents open and a little bit of air is going out due to convection but it's not until I open those bottom vents that a lot of air goes out I also want to show you one more thing over on this side on the foul wall I have a fan over here and from the warm side if it was to get too warm I have a switch and I'm just looking for the switch while you guys are buried in the plant see if I can find it here and we can turn this on so that let's see here oops I should have tried this with um beforehand so this switch here when running we'll turn on the um the fans oops come on I'm just trying to adjust this with my thumb so when that gets to the set point that fan then sucks out all the hot air it's kind of like the emergency venting system and I have it set to it clicks on at about 90 Fahrenheit so it's set to right there but that one it doesn't normally kick on because it's um, nice and cool in here and so that last thing that I showed you that's just like the whole abandoned ship the air conditioner is not keeping up let's just vent the greenhouse and pull in cool air from everywhere even if it's drier but anyways that is how I cool my greenhouse for the summertime now this works wonderful for me I don't recommend um, doing it there's a lot of technical gadgets and balancing and sensors and everything like that They're the only thing that um, is not in some way digital here are the actual wax pistons on the roof vents themselves so there's a lot of um, a lot of thought behind all this and it's taken a few years to really catch the bugs out but I would say safely as of last year it just it ran itself I didn't have to worry about anything and it's gonna do its this, its thing this year so temperatures back up by 0.7 
Humidity is still at 95% in here, so that's good. It's it's maintaining for now. And yeah. So I hope you like this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.